Good evening, one and all. This is Video Game Girls 64, also known as Lulu, and today we're going to be hacking Pokemon Fire Red some more, and I will be showing you how to make a very simple trainer battle, just like those ones you see everywhere, like when you're going through Viridian Forest and you're passing by those bug catchers and they challenge you to a battle. Well, we're going to make a trainer of our own, and it's going to be awesome. So, we're going to be using three programs today, we'll get to them like once their time comes, two of which we've already used, and one of which is brand new, so I'm going to have to teach you how to use it. So first we start off with our beautiful Pokemon script viewer. Oh, what would I do without you? Okay, so, first things first, open the ROM. Simple. We're going to start with hashtag dyn space 0x740000. Still have no idea what that, what that does, but whatever. Hashtag org at starting. That's what we're going to be naming our script. So today we're going to be using a new script command called trainer battle, all one word. And basically what this does is initiates a trainer battle, like, obviously. Okay, so we're going to put a space and put 0x0. Zero zero. Now what this means is that this is a very ordinary, bland, generic trainer battle, like most of the game's trainer battles have this, and that's what we're going to be working on today. I might teach you how to make different types of trainer battles later on. So that's what we're going to be using for now. Now we put another space, and the next number we're supposed to put is the number of the trainer. But how do we know what trainer has what number? Well, incoming pet, P-E-T, a Pokemon trainer editor. Pokemon editor trainer, oh, whatever, that's not important. Okay, so, this is the new program we're going to use. It doesn't exactly fit, um, I apologize for that, but, um... I'll just put it there. Okay, so, first things first, you're going to want to open the ROM you're using, and I was making a test one called Lame, and I'm going to teach you what to do. Okay, so, basically here you put the trainer name, I called her Lame, here you can change what picture they have, how many Pokemon they have, the trainer class, which this will be Pokemon Trainer Lame, you can make it like Team Aqua Lame or whatever, like you do whatever you want. This is the music number, and that's the music that'll play during their battle. If you're having trouble deciding, like obviously because the music isn't labeled or anything, it's just numbers, if you're having trouble deciding what type of music to use for the trainer, you can go around and see some examples. So like Loralee will have music 138, Gentleman Arthur will have music 13, and stuff like that. So we go back up to here, and here you can check whether you want to be a double battle or not. If you do that, make sure you have two or more Pokemon, obviously. It's just weird if you don't. Here you set the number of Pokemon. The Pokemon offset, we'll get to that later. And every time you make a change in the trainer data, hit save trainer data, or like, it's not going to work. So here you can decide like what items you want like the opponent to have and how many items they can have and they can have up to uh, four items. I am going to give them um something interesting. Huh, nothing interesting. Just generic healing items. That's it. Okay. Well, you can have like a moo moo milk because I said so. So save the trainer data. And here you can decide like what Pokemon they get. So I'm giving her a level 10 Spinarak. Save Pokemon. Oh, by the way, use this to change what Pokemon it is. I don't know why that has like... This has like Dugong's moveset because I went and checked Loralee. But um, the Pokemon that you're using, unless you're editing a higher trainer class, like a gym leader, your rival, or the Elite Four, you won't be able to get to choose what moves the Pokemon have, it'll just choose like the four most recent moves the Pokemon learn, depending on what level they are. So no, the Spinarak and Rotatel will not know Ice Beam, Surf, Hail, and Safeguard, those are just there because I checked um, Loralee's Dugong, which you can edit the moves for that. But the Spinarak and the Rotatel will know like the most recent moves that it's learned. Um. Use this to change what Pokemon it is. You click Save Pokemon before you move on and edit the next one, or your changes won't be saved. So yeah, this is a very simple, self-explanatory program to use. 
right here is where the trainer number is. 010 is what we're going to need to put in Pokemon Script Viewer. So let's go back to that and put 010. Now we're going to put one more space and we're going to put another 0x0. This means that there's no script to follow after the battle. It'll just do the generic, like, you can talk to them afterwards, but, like, this is no script followed after the battle. An example of a battle that has a script after it is your champion battle with Gary. After you battle Gary, you immediately go on to another script. Well, this isn't going to do that. So we put another space, and we're going to have to name other parts of the script. Now, the other parts of the script we have to name is, um... The beginning when you're talking to the trainer or the trainer's talking to you and the ending what the trainer will say when they lose so I guess we're gonna call it at beginning and at ending go down once more and now we're going to put a message box MSG box that's very like familiar we've done this a hundred times and we're gonna need to name this message box um, I guess, afterwards. And this message box is what's going to appear if you talk to the trainer after you've battled them, like after you've defeated them, what they're going to say. They're not just going to stand there and say nothing. And you can do the same things as before if you want. You can, like, edit the color of the text if you want. But just to keep things simple, I'm just going to put call STDMSG underscore normal, meaning it's just a normal everyday message box. I'm gonna go down once more and put end. So it's not it doesn't look very big, but we're gonna add a little bit more to this. This is the base, the body of our script. If you go down two lines, we can start adding the beginning. We're gonna put org at the beginning. I spelled beginning wrong, didn't I? There's another there's like three ends in beginning, isn't there? I don't give a fuck. Okay. My spelling's never been the best anyways. Alright, so now is just like what we would do when editing a regular message box. So you put the equal sign, and you type in what they're going to say. Be careful not to go over the, I'm pretty sure it's the 30 character limit in a line, or else you'll like mess up the box or something, so... I'm going to punch you in the face. Okay. Go down two more. And I'm going to put hashtag org at ending equals you stupid stupid exclamation point. Go down twice more. Hashtag org at afterwards equals I don't like you anymore dot okay so this is the script we will be using this is the dialogue that will be said before the battle this is the dialogue that will be said once you defeat your opponent and this is the dialogue that will be said when you talk to your opponent after you've defeated them how do we put this in the game? how do we always put this in the game? we're going to go to ROM compile Got the compiler log, and here we go, dynamic offsets. This is the important thing. So you're going to take the first one, because that's the body of the script, which holds all the other parts of the script. And we're just going to casually pan over to advanced map, with my awesome panning skills. We're going to load the ROM we're using. Load the same ROM each time. I don't know if that's self-explanatory or not, but just do it. So after our advanced map uh, stops responding, we just have to patiently wait. Yeah, I'll be back when this loads. Oh my god, that took way longer than it should have. Okay. Um, I guess I don't want to put this trainer in Pewter City. I'm going to put it to the root next to it. Uh, ignore all the legendary Pokemon. I was testing something. We are going to go down here where all the important stuff happens. 
we're going to add another person. Take that person and add to the uh, desired location. Uh, actually, you're good over here. Why not? I'll just put you up there. Okay, so, um. Okay, we've edited people before, you know. Like, we all know what all this stuff is. Uh, sprite number, sprite that matches. Here we go. That's, that matches. I'm gonna have you, like, look to the left. Uh, no movement, nothing. Check trainer, make sure that this is checked, or it won't work. The view range, okay, so. The view range is basically how many steps you could be away before the trainer notices you. So, if you're one step away from the trainer, she won't notice you till you're, like, right in front of her face. If you're two steps away, she won't notice till you're two steps in front of her face, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna put it a view range of one. And now here we go, script offset, where did my thing go? Alright, so we're going to put in, oh my god, why do you do this to me? <laughs> Where'd you go? Come back. Oh my god, it's my art, don't look at it, it's so ugly. Okay, whatever. We're going to put 7, 4, 3, 7, 5, 3. Script offset. And yeah, that's basically it. We have just successfully added a train to the game. Oh, after we save, of course. So after we save, we have successfully added a trainer to the game, and we're going to go give her a test drive. I will be right back. Alrighty, so here we are in the game that I've been completely messing around with. We're going to go test out our brand new trainer. Don't mind him in the trees. He was something I was testing out as well. Alrighty, so we approach the trainer. We walk to the trainer. She hasn't spotted us yet. We walk. We walk. Whoa, she's noticed us. I'm going to punch you in the face. How very unkind. Alright, so, opens up, Pokemon Trader Lame would like to battle. Pokemon Trainer Lame sent out Spinarak and Rodata. Double battle commands! I send out Poop and Yanma, so I'm gonna have Poop use Poop on Spinarak, and Yanma's gonna metronome. Hopefully this will end quickly. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna use Iron Defense instead. Okay, so, um... Tail Whip. Poison sting. Come on, poop. No, oh, <laughs> this is gonna make it take longer. Poop, use poop! Team kill it. God damn it. Okay, Rao doesn't use quick attack and it gets a critical hit. This is taking much longer than it should. Stop using the iron defense! Iron defense twice in a row! Okay, well, the spinner racks down. Oh my god. Okay, and then poops down. Okay, don't use iron defense. Come on. Just just, just kill her out. Just it'll take one hit. Oh, I wish you had more than just metronome. I'm so sorry, everyone. This shouldn't be happening this way. Whoa, got a crit too. What a badass. Okay. Thank you. We can now move on. Alright, the Rod Top fainted. Player defeated Pokemon Trainer Lame. You stupid, stupid. I got some generic money for winning, I'm assuming based on the trainer class. I don't like you anymore. Alright, so that is how you successfully add a very generic basic trainer to the game. 
And that's all I really have to say, for now, at least. I hope you enjoyed this latest of uh, hacking Pokemon Fire Red or whatever I named the series. Anyways, this has been Video Game Girl 64, also known as Lulu. Thank you for watching. I am over and out.